Okay, looks like I need to get a new version of that. So, <laughs> it was still pretty. It, oh, no, it is pretty. But you're limited to what's out there. A lot of these songs have uh, not out, out, so I try to see where I can get them from. So it looks like there's going to be a new one that I need to get a better version of. Yeah, but, that's not an instrumental. Yeah, that's not an instrumental. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have given us yourself and your Son, Jesus Christ. Do not allow us to be possessive, but make us realize that your life and love are ours for good, insofar as we are willing to grow in them and to share them with our neighbor. Give us this conviction and strength to put it into practice. We ask this through Christ our brother. Amen. Um, thank you. Those that went to uh, Liz's uh, dad's funeral yesterday, it was interesting, uh, to say the least. Not something that we in the Catholic tradition are used to. Uh, style is more evangelical, but uh, it was good. It was a good celebration of his life. Uh, on the 25th, if I have my, the last Saturday of this month is when we'll be doing a uh, second harvest uh, for that. And then I got a uh, a confirmation uh, yesterday. I don't know if you remember a sister, uh, not sister, uh, Father Rita Lucy, who was ordained for the Roman Catholic Women's Ordination Movement. She's 80 years old. She's from here in Orlando. She will be our celebrant on September 13th. Wow. Uh, she confirmed that up, so that's going to be cool. 
Jim, do you know what you what we're going to be doing for Second Harvest this time? Have they told you? No, they don't tell me ahead of time. It's whatever. Okay. So it, it, it's uh, uh, for that. And then next week I won't see you. So if you can come early and help Father Anthony set up, that would be cool. And because um, I'll be leaving Friday to head down to the Keys, and next Saturday, uh, Father Tom Sterner will become Bishop's Tom Sterner. And it's going to be one heck of a different installation that no one has seen. Cool. Because it's going to be very ecumenical. The whole ceremony will be totally, he will have the Jewish, the Baptist, the Benai faith, the Episcopalians, uh, wow. and all of that will be part of his uh, ordination ceremony. And Tom does not believe in a bishop's ring. He's going to be wearing his wedding ring from when his partner passed away. So that's all he wants. He doesn't want fancy bishop's rings or anything. No kissing his ring, huh? No kissing the ring. He doesn't want a mitre. He's going to wear one for next Saturday, and he's, that's it. He won't wear it again. He had a, the, I want to say it was uh, a homeless group or whatever. They made his wooden crozier. So it's, it's very, very good. Simple. And I think those of you that have met Tom know that the guy is very simple. What a beautiful way to carry on his partner's memory. Uh, I wanted uh, to say a couple of things before we leave today. Uh, first of all, I forgot, I suggested that Father Bishop now put the ring in his back pocket when he said no. <laughs>
he said, well, you have to spell a word. So she said, well, what's the word? He said, love. She said, L-O-V. He said, go ahead and you're okay. Then a few months later, he said, I have to go and do something. Would you watch the games for me? And she said, yes. So who should appear at the game but her former husband? <laughs> and she said, she said, what do I have to do? She said, well, how are things since I died? And he said, well, after you died, I invested some money and made the killing on the stock market. So I had a mansion and I had, uh, I met this girl and I'm having an affair with her. She's very sexy and I really, she's young, I like her a lot. And that I have all this money now too that we didn't have. So she, he said, well, what do I have to do? get to have it. She said, we have to spell a word. He said, okay, what's the word? She said, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a parish council meeting after. <laughs> Over there. Not out there. Let us pray. God has entrusted to us his mission of bringing the good news of his son to a self-sufficient world, ill-disposed to receive him. We ourselves are often poor witnesses, yet speak we must by our words and by our actions. May God himself be our strength, and may our parent bless us for this task. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go and proclaim God's good news to all that are willing to listen out there. And our closing is 383. 383. 383. You sing what you want, Anthony. You sing what you want. I'm going with 38. But then you're in the misalect. <laughs> you're in the